This is cowrie card. No, we shy. A cowrie card. This is a prepaid payment solution here in Lagos, Nigeria, otherwise known as Lagos Travel Card. What does this card do for average Lagosian, and how can it empower them in their day-to-day -day activities? In this video, I'll be discussing the importance of this card and what it does in the city of Lagos, and how it can be a game changer for Nigeria as a country in making their cashless policy possible. This is Lagos City, Nigeria. In this video, I will expose to you the four services you can access with this car record here in Nigeria. This is Lagos State Travel Card. Let's go. Before we dive deep, who is qualified to have a car record? Well, from five years and above, it's qualified to have a car record. And you can get the car record at a train station, the Lack Ferry Services Terminal. The BRT, the last mile bus stations, all you need to do is just approach the ticketing booth and request that you need a car card and you have it. Currently, the card is selling for 600 Naira as of the time I'm making this video. You can recharge any amount that you want. You don't need any government approved document. All you need is your phone number and your name. That's all. You have a car card. To make payment for the services you want to use, simply tap your card on the blue machine. Your payment is received depending on where you're going to. The price is automated on the machine. Once you tap in the card, you are debited instantly. Then you hop in. This is applicable to the four services you can access with this car record here in Lagos, Nigeria, which are the train. Yeah, the Lagos train service. You can pay with car record. The last mile bus. You can pay with car record. The Lagos BRT buses. You can pay with car record. And the Lagos Lack Ferry. It's important you know that this is not a payment option, but the only means of payment for these services here in Lagos, Nigeria. At least, they are implementing it very seriously. Like on the train, you can now pay with cash with your card that has the means of payment on the train service and other services too, I mentioned earlier. Am I safe with this card? Like, is my security assured using this card? It's just a prepaid card. Anyone can use this card. It does not have a personal identity number, but the officials can dictate who owns who because during registration, you put in your name and phone number. How many times can I buy this card with a phone number, with a particular phone number? Well, for me, I have buy this card more than five times now. And I don't think there's a limit to how many times you can have a card. But hey, don't be careless, you know? Keep your card safe. Because if you get lost, you're going to buy another one, which is another expenses. Don't be like me. How can this card play a significant role in the cashless policy our government, not just Lagos State government, but Nigerian government, is putting out here in our country, Nigeria. Hey, do you remember cashless policy in 2023? I would like to get your own personal story in the comment section. If you're Nigerian and you, you're, you're Nigerian in 2023 during the cashless policy, let us know what you experienced at that period so my viewers will understand better. The comment section is your friend. Personally, I was buying our Nigerian currency, Nigerian Naira, with Nigerian Naira. Yeah, let me know what you experienced that time in the comment section. Let it not be that I'm just the only one saying it. I've been to about five banks now. I've not been able to withdraw. The carry card can change the face of public transportation, not just in Lagos, but Nigeria as a whole. How? In other words, before I come to that, let me play this challenge video I made with the carry card, where I move all the way from Mao 2 down to Ikorodu without spending a single cash. See guys, I'll be challenging myself to go all the way from Mao 2 here down to Ikorodu with car card. I'll be going cashless. I'll be going with that cash. Can this card carry me all the way from Mao 2 to Ikorodu? Let's find out. First thing first, I have to recharge my card. Did I mention you can recharge it with cash transfer or POS? Hey, after recharging, I tap in and headed to the train platform because train was my first mode of transportation so, for the journey begins here. Right. Off we go. To the I mean, I'm going to Ireland now. Seems like car car will take me to Marina with that cash. Why inside the train? I was staring at the card. Kai, can you imagine how powerful this card can be? If only our leaders have seen what I'm seeing. But hey, they will see what I'm seeing after this video. And you, you, you to my viewer will see what I'm seeing. Just continue watching. So this is inside the train. As always, the train is always conducive. It's always comfortable to ride on the train. Finally, 
we are out. My car card got us to Marina, cashless. So let's see if car card will take us to um, CMS. This is our station. Wow, they have machines here. You can buy drinks, I guess. Fantastic. We are leaving uh, Marina train station now with our car record. Can we still get another service that will take us to the next destination? This is, I introduced you to the last mile bus. So let's use this last mile bus to Go to TBS. Catch you all at TBS. Are you ready? Let's go board. Last my boss. So, do we call record uh, all that? We're heading to TBS now, Tafawa Balewa Square, located in Oniko. So far so good, we have spent zero cash. Coming from our two down to Marina, now to TBS. Yeah, we come again as the crew booking tickets. Bondu, Baba. Sorry, I'm going to Ikorodu. Where will I get the balls? There, there be. All right, thank you. So, guys, finally we arrive at TBS. TBS. From all the way from Altu to TBS, and I have not spent any cash. Just, just using my car card, and I'm here. So I'm going to cruise right now. So, therefore, I'm introducing you to the number three on our list, which is the BRT boss. Let's go there. BRT here in TBS. By the time I'm done with you, by the time I'm done with you guys, you will love Lagos. Just chill, relax. So you're going to get the BRT bus that will take us to Ikorodu area of Lagos State, Nigeria. Let's go. I had restriction issues with the officials. I wasn't allowed to film inside the BRT. Nobody in the at all. We move. I'm out here to serve Nigeria with all my strength. So finally, we are at Ikorodu, guys. Yeah, Ikorodu. I just spend the cash than my carry card. As you can see, this is how we rule in Lagos. Carry card is changing the narrative here in Lagos State, Nigeria. This is not just about the route I've taken you through. In a different part of Lagos, you can move without spending a single cash just using your carry card, using the BRT bus, the last mile bus, and the train currently now happening in Lagos, Nigeria. Lagos, being a city connected by water, is not left out in their water transportation too. The car record also remains as a means of payment for their services. I look forward to work with the car record officials on the second episode of this video where we're exploring and showing the world how powerful car record is. Maybe it may be to happen anytime soon. Remember we left the topic behind before we began this challenge where I told you that this car record can improve the cashless policy our government is making. If Lagos State government have successfully, seamlessly integrated service on the last mile bus, the BRT buses, then I don't think it's impossible to also integrate the service on the regular Kekemarawa, the Kurokwe, the downfall buses, and the yellow buses we see in Lagos. You'll be asking ah, why this should go out of out of use. Let, let, let's be realistic here, yeah? These buses will go out of use, I pray that happens. But when is that gonna happen? For now. This is what we have. I get to me. This is our current reality. What is stopping them?
from creating a system that can enable this service to be possible in Lagos. You can agree with me that it is not impossible for Lagos State Government to create and implement a payment system that accepts carry card for the yellow buses, which is known as the downfall buses here in Lagos. Transportation remains the key infrastructures that pull cash into circulation in Nigeria. Imagine a new Lagos where the state government have successfully integrated this payment solution to all the commercial vehicles in the states. When you want to move around Lagos, you don't need to bother about having cash in your pocket. With your car card, that's all you need. This will help the state government to manage and regulate the transport sector effectively and help them to generate more revenue for the state. We're all improving the life of Lagosians. How can this help Nigeria in a cashless policy? Like I said before, Transportation remains one of the key things that, that put cash into circulation in our system. If Lagos State Government integrates this payment solution into the transport sector, then it is impossible for the Tasi State of Nigeria to replicate the same thing all over Nigeria, including Abuja. This will mop out cash flowing into the system and help with the cashless policy the government are working so hard to achieve. You can agree with me that, aside from transport, every other sectors of the economy can go cashless, from the market down to the daily essential need of Nigerians. I believe you are not seeing the picture I'm trying to paint here. So we'll stop here to continue from here next time. Before then, like, subscribe to the channel to see the future of this. Flood one showing next on your screen, guys. You enjoy the experience. See you on the inside.